here on the data, speech, my path to personal growth, my path to personal growth here on the data. <laughs> My dad always used to lecture me, push harder, push harder, see how far you'll go. He didn't realize that I'll apply for Arizona State University. If you can imagine the globe like this, our hometown is here and Arizona is here, 10,000 miles away. I was ebullient when I got my visa to come to America. We had a great party. All my friends, relatives, everybody showed up. We celebrated all day. The guests left. My dad was sitting in a corner. And then I said, Dad, what happened? Are you okay? He said, I want to persuade you one last time to stay back. If you're here, I can take care of you all through your life. You'll have roof over your head. I can give you food. You'll never have any, anything that you'll be missing in life. If you want to go, I can still support you. What I figured was, if I take all our savings, I mortgage our house. I can just buy a one-way ticket for you to go. If something happens to you in America, don't even call me. I can't do anything. I was a 22-year-old. What can you expect? I made up my mind. So here I am. <laughs> I walked out of the ASU bookstore, and then I wanted to find a job. And from inside the glass door, I see this guy with a pony walk out and he was like chasing me literally, saying, I am the manager at the computing commons. I need somebody to do customer support and tech support. <laughs> would, you be, would you be willing to work? I said, I, I recognize he is desperate to find somebody. I started interviewing him. What made you think I can do computer support? He was shocked for a minute. He said, are you from India? <laughs> so I got the job. I became a very good friend of him, and he helped me a lot. I had a little book wherein I wrote down all the places I wanted to go. Uh, Statue of Liberty, White House, Pentagon, all these places I wanted to travel before my mom gets me married off to somebody with an arranged marriage. So time was clicking. So I shared with my ponytail Mike that how can I go there? He said, you know, do you have money? Just to fly to New York is going to cost you 300 bucks. I said, I found this Greyhound coupon, 69 bucks all through summer. You can take as many trips as you like throughout the country. I bought the ticket. I lived in Greyhound for three months. I went throughout the country from Arizona to New York to Washington to Chicago. I became a big fan of Married with Children. Do you guys know Married with Children? So there is a fountain there, it's called Buckingham Fountain in Chicago. I wanted to go see that. I saw that. <laughs> I came back home. I, I learned so much traveling through the country using Greyhound. After that, Greyhound abolished that coupon. They don't sell it anymore. So fast forward, then I graduated. I went to Intel, I met my wife, and then we worked there for five years. I wanted to have kids. Start a family. My wife is a thinker. She said, we both work 50 hours each. How can you even imagine having a kid? How will we take care of them? She said, you always boast yourself to be the head of the family. Figure out a way wherein we can really have a family. It's not like we sacrifice our life for an employer. So I took it upon myself. I went to all conferences to learn about investments, how to quit your job, everything. So we started investing in real estate. And we got lucky. We started making money hand over fist. Then I quit Intel, thinking that's how life is going to be forever. It worked out well for us. And then after we designed Intel, all our friends started flocking to our house. Hey, how are you doing these investments? How did you quit Intel? Because it's a dream job. Nobody in Chandler would quit Intel. That to both wife and husband. So I started sharing how we did it, and market was floating. Every advice that I gave was coming out to be true because market was growing. It was nothing about me. Then I figured, why am, 
why shouldn't I start making money out of this free advice I'm giving out people? Then we started a real estate brokerage. Then we started a mortgage company. Then we started a title company. Then people started noticing us and they gave us the Arizona Real Estate Achievement Award in 2013. It was a big deal. Then I met, met somebody who is starting a hospice who made a community difference. Then I got hooked to that. We got into the hospice business. After all this happened, then we got into other businesses like Makutus and commercial real estate, everything. And I had things head over my heels, literally. So the first lesson that I learned is having more is not really more. Then my wife said, we've always wanted to travel. And I wanted to travel. So we went to 28 countries. And in the process, I didn't want my kids to be hanging out in the school. We pulled them out of the school so that we can travel. It's really groundbreaking for my family because all of us are big into academics and it was really, nobody liked us thinking we are weird, but we did that. And my kids want to do business with me and I'm so happy that they're following us along. My wife has become extremely spiritual and whatever she says, I follow. I met all my old friends, old friends. I just showed up to Chicago, I called my friend. Hey, I'm in Chicago for a business meeting. Are you okay to meet me? They're like, yes. So I met all my friends, all my old friends because I had nothing going on. Nobody would hear me at my house. So I might as well travel. <laughs> then I decided to join Toastmasters because people can hear me talk without me and anybody interrupting. So after 18 months, I decided that I'm going to stop really getting busy in my business and uh, focusing back on building some content. And my friend Shane Baker is helping me build content on my YouTube channel. So I'm requesting all my friends to subscribe. Go to Life Clap. That is my YouTube channel. Thank you. <laughs>